Good to have you with us here on the Monday edition of the South African Morning. Hope you had a good weekend. It's a very big week as far as uh, local politics are concerned, particularly around the Mangaung municipality. They're going to elect a new mayor today. It's been a year, can you believe it, since uh, former mayor Oli Imanaeli was ousted. Uh, political infighting within the ANC causing a lot of delays. But in the end, in Olisi Sionzana, an ally of uh, suspended ANC Secretary General Ace Makoshule, was announced as the mayor candidates. So what does Mangaung think of this and what does political analyst Professor Seto Lejo Matabesi think about all of this? Well, let's find out from him. Professor, good morning to you uh, and appreciate your timing coming through. It seems uh, this is no grey area as far as the new mayoral candidate is concerned. You either like the new mayor or you don't like the new mayor. Even within the ANC, uh, there seems to be no grey area. What's your take on this? Hi, good morning, Edwin, and good morning to the viewers. No, uh, I, it is actually a, a little bit, uh, for me, very disappointing. Remember the change in the mayor within the Mangawung Metropolitan Council came as a result of the decision that had been taken by the African National Congress in the Free State, and you would have expected when they strategized or decided about removing Oli, they would already have a candidate. But for me, being a resident of the of, 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 of Mangawung, I'm not surprised and a direct consequence of this lack of attitude, uh, you know, indecisiveness to elect leaders directly led to lack of service delivery. Service delivery has been a question, uh, a problem. But if you look at the decision that have been taken by the African National Congress, I strongly believe it's a calculated one. And that then Soyon Zana is part of the current interim structure of the uh, provincial uh, ANC. Mm. Uh, and, and I don't think they wanted to go for somebody who's outside of that structure or not part of the current uh, uh, Mangahong Metropolitan Municipality. But the question is, I also suspect this is just a temporary appointment because remember, uh, it still had to be decided whether we go to, uh, to have an election this year or next year. But the fact of the matter is, I foresee a situation where uh, the mayor that will be elected today will only be there on a temporary basis up until a new mayor is elected after the forthcoming local government election. Yeah, whenever that might be, Prof, either October uh, or February. Uh, a lot of headlines over the weekend. Yeah. Super Monday, Gorga, our reporter, even referring to this. I'm sure you would have heard me. It's why I refer to it. Uh, Sion Zana, uh, an ally, uh, a widely known ally of suspended ANC Secretary General, is that relevant at all to you? Do you read anything into that? No, not necessarily. But I know if you are within the African National Congress, this will be a winning signal. Some members will say, but what are people like Mtolisi and Dupana doing? Because they need to consolidate power. Remember, power within the African National Congress lies within provinces and where you can't have a province without a municipality. And that's where all these power balances and dynamics are uh, uh, you know, emerging. Uh, but I think also for the interim structure, they had to take this, uh, you know, middle line where they don't seems to be antagonistic uh, to the other factions within the African National Congress. There's not much that I can read because at the end of the day, as I've correctly stated, I can't foresee that uh, Sionzana will be appointed as a, on a permanent basis because in any case, all the councillors and their mayoral uh, incumbents mm. term come to an end when the next election kicks in. Uh, just the last 30 seconds I have with uh, you, Prof. You've mentioned twice now that this, you suspect it's going to be a temporary uh, placement until the elections come October or February, depending which way uh, we go on this. Uh, is uh, this uh, potential new mayor going to have any influence uh, over Mangaung between now and October or February, or is it simply uh, a head figure in a placeholding position? No, not at all. Even if you are going to be elected for the next five years, we've seen this all over again where mayors are being changed and new ones are being brought in. But at the end of the day, service delivery still suffers. And I don't see the mayor making any significant changes over the next couple of months.
Well, I appreciate your time in speaking to us. I'm sure we're going to all await the uh, results of this and how the day is going to pan out in Mangong. What a pleasure it always is, uh, political analyst, Professor Seto Lejo Matadesi, joining us here on ENCA.